David Kennedy, who's the CEO of Trusted SEC, which is an internet security firm, he says that the site is a big old hacker's dream. Uh, let's take a look. Looking at the website, um, when we noticed a lot of the uh, performance issues that were happening on the site, and uh, basically started just poking and prodding a little bit, looking at the security, and we found out that it was pretty bad all around. And uh, there were some things that we couldn't even disclose there because they were so critical in nature uh, to you know public information. Uh, that we weren't able, even able to show at the When you here. say bad, well, I mean, what can you get at? What type of information could you get at as easily as you suggest you can? Well, <clears throat> everything from hacking somebody's computer, so when you visit the website, it actually tries to hack your computer back, um, all the way to um, being able to extract email addresses, usernames, um, you know, first name, last name, locations. Um, all of those different things are available now on the website. Okay, well that doesn't sound very good, does it? But the question is, who do we believe and what do we believe? I feel like every time I hear another one of these things, because every two days, something happens. Now the site's getting hacked. Now the site's not working at all. Now it's up. Now 800 million people got on at once. <laughs> I just don't know what to believe anymore. So before we get into the specifics of what he said, how have you decided what you can and can't believe related to this whole thing? I just uh, hope to stay employed by the private sector, so this is <laughs> so everybody else's problem and not mine, because yeah. this sounds like a world-class nightmare. I have friends that got on successfully. They have a super low, uh, you know, copay, and it's all good, and they're young, healthy men, and it's all good. But that's anecdotal. I, I, I haven't seen any evidence that anyone except my friend Chip is yeah. doing well with this site. Good for Chip. Yeah. What, well, what do you think? Who do you believe when it comes to this I live in the stuff? realm of having to, every time you hear something from, either, from any side of the aisle, that you have to find, try and find their angle and the reason that they're saying what they're saying, if yeah. it's false. So, uh, of course, I go into everything negatively. Like, everybody's lying, so let's find out why you're lying. And then if it checks out, oh, my bad, you weren't lying. <laughs> right. So, the first thing I thought, which I haven't had a chance for this guy, David Kennedy? Yeah, David Kennedy. Um, first, I look into his company. Uh, trusted SEC, what mm -hmm. are they doing, who do they support, who supports trusted them. Trusted is in the name, James. Trust. Exactly, right? <laughs> uh, how, how often they appear on certain networks, um, you know, where they started, what their background is, money, where it comes from, all that type of stuff. To see who, who they need to support or who supports them. To see who they need to serve to. Which, I, of course, like I said, I haven't had a chance to find out who this guy was. The first thing I thought was, who's David Kennedy? And, and uh, is, does he have a lobbying firm? Does he have an interest with, uh, with things with Insurance companies that want to keep things status quo, or certain politicians, or bigger corporations. I don't know, right. but that's so first thing to look into. So you're saying we can't even trust CNBC to vet these people properly, unfortunately. Exactly. I well, mean, because maybe they don't even maybe they don't even think to. They're thinking, oh, there's a, this is a, this is another angle to the story. We need right. to find out from this expert. Not even saying that they're coming from a bad place, but like here's an expert. We don't know how this works. We need a hacker guy to come in and tell us. And right. because it's a government website, do they not have to play by the same rules that everybody else does? So if we get hacked, they don't have to tell us. Right. Well, you know, they were saying that even yesterday the site was working at something like 90% capacity, which if it was a private sector thing, you'd still get fired because Amazon yeah. it's, can't work at 90% capacity. If one out of every 10 people yeah. wasn't getting service, people would uh, get fired. The only anecdotal thing that I can tell you is that my sister actually tried to sign up for Obamacare, and it didn't work, and then she started getting spam emails about health insurance. Oh. So that does show you that there definitely are some... Uh, security thing. And with that, I even wondered to, to what extent it's, it's those type of things. I've always told this story. I, I ventured into a Walmart last year and didn't buy anything. I was there with my girlfriend. She bought things and I strolled in, strolled back out. Within three hours, I was getting text messages about Walmart things. Wow. And then, and then th it, I was like, man, I was just in you were just in you there. You didn't even do it. I didn't use my card. I didn't make a phone call while That's I was in not there. Cool. Yeah. It's amazing. So, I, so I wonder to what degree things just kind of know where you are. I, I remember I was talking with Michael Shore before, a, a beloved Michael Shore of TYT. <laughs> um, it's, I mean, I'm not going to tell the specifics, but it was a medical conversation. The next day, we I started getting uh, sidebar on my computer sidebar um, ads about that con specific condition. Because I was asking myself, I never heard of that before. So he was explaining to me what it was. This that's is a verbal conversation terrifying. in person. I mean, that's really it was crazy. Coming, and I, I, I was you, thinking this is crazy. We're bugged bug here <laughs> at TYT. Have you read 1984? Yeah. I have it, and I still haven't read it. Well, you're living it. Well, you're <laughs> uh, I can solve this whole problem, yeah, by please. the way. Um, all they need to do is throw a dart 
at a map and pick any high school, pick a random kid out, and they will make a better website. <laughs> WordPress, cafe, these are all things that we all do in our sleep. Yeah. So if you just wanna have it done right with, with a little bit of security so you don't get too hacked, just ask a 14 year old. Yeah, so that goes to what I've said every week that we've done a story on this thing. I want this to work. I believe we can have universal healthcare like many other countries uh, have already. Um, but why does no one get fired? Why doesn't anyone get fired? Sibelius, anybody, as I said last, week a janitor that works at the uh, website <laughs> yeah. company why don't we fire anybody you know, ever? I think and again I haven't worked in this level of government I worked in small little county jobs when I was trying to make some money and broke as hell after college mm. but um, this one of the things I'm beginning to believe about the red tape of government when they when Republicans say government just doesn't work government doesn't know how to do anything straightforward like the private sector the things the private sector can do the government I think can do is fire someone that I think takes a process it's hard to do it's public when it comes mm -hmm. from this high up level of office and they go so now what are they gonna do next now they're gonna have a press conference about it are they gonna reveal some secrets they're gonna reveal some information is someone gonna find out more about them how many interviews are they gonna do I think there's so many extra worries about it that they think it's, it's easy to keep that them on. But does make it doubly worse? Yeah. So that, I, yeah. That yeah. But, it's it the I, but it's almost the nature of the system. And right. I want to believe in Barack Obama. He's, he's, a, he's, he's like a stand-up dude. And I would love for him to have a closed-door meeting with all these fools and be like, you are making me look like a punk-ass chump. <laughs> yeah. Somebody fix this. Instead of being like, well, you know, give it time. Now he sounds like an ass. Yeah, so, okay, mm -hmm. that's a great segue. So doesn't it seem like he's lost some of his mojo because yes. of this? I was watching the press conference yesterday, mm -hmm. and it's like, remember the hope and change thing? And we all were like over the top. It was like, it was, it was really beyond mm -hmm. what we we were all feeling with him, and now it's like he's droning on, and it's like, come on, dude. Yeah. Like, why isn't he cracking heads? That's what I don't get. That's the question. Why isn't he cracking heads? Yeah. Is he? Is it just because he feels like, you know what? I've done everything I can. I'm tired. I want to take my water poodle or whatever it is and just smoke some cigarettes and ride the rest of this thing out? Or does he really feel like he's done everything as he can? His hands are tied, and everyone in his own cabinet is working against him. Is you know, is is everyone else the villain? Right. Or is he just over it? Right, or, or they don't even tell him. That's what it sounds like, that they don't really tell him when something's really awry or amiss. It doesn't even work its way up to him, so he can't be blamed. And then when he gets, has to sit up and talk about it, he comes with the, um, I don't know, and then it becomes a time waster. <laughs> yeah. right. And he can't say, I just don't know, which they've released in statements before. He just didn't know about certain things. But um, so when I, I think when there's this much generated, there's always been, there's always been so many scandals and attacks at him that come up empty. Right. And we see him as looking this way, this is because there's some merit to how bad the website has launched. Yeah. Now, the merits behind it or the things that we're trying to do with healthcare or just provide things for more people, that, that, that's the positive part of it. But the website itself, it actually does suck. So he actually doesn't have a way to just pull his mojo through it. Right, that's actually an interesting point that maybe if the Republicans hadn't been so crazed attacking him on everything like Benghazi and IRS, mm -hmm. things that quite haven't fizz, you know, have, or have fizzled out mm -hmm. in a way, that they would have more of a legit voice to be attacking him mm -hmm. on this one. Do you think at some point he just gets so fed up with not knowing what to do that he's gonna get up at the podium and just hold up a picture of his birth certificate? <laughs> be like, I have literally nothing else to give. Well, that's the thing. Point. Maybe he shot his load early, so to speak, and should have been waiting yeah. for the birth on this one. So one of the things that I think is really interesting here is, you know, the whole premise of Obamacare is that you need young, healthy people to sign up right. because that will keep the premiums low. So yeah. they say that they need about 40% of healthy people between 18 and 35 to get this thing to function properly. But when you hear about the hacking and this kind of stuff, that to me goes to what young people know about more, which makes it seem like young people are even going to do this less. So then that, that even hurts it more. So is this just like this endless double-edged sword we got going? I, I, I think you really hit the nail on the head. I think it's old people trying to play a young people's game and we're gonna do something, this newfangled thing called a website and they can't even get the basics down yeah. right and us sophisticated youngsters don't want anything to do with it because we know better. Yeah. So like I said, they should just pick you know, some whatever. Grab a kid from MIT, that's what they do, yeah. that's why they're there. And let him figure it out, let her figure it out. But watching these people putz around is really not helping them. Yeah, so final uh, thought on this. So how much of this, because I know you're a conspiracy theorist, how much of this do you, do you think could be done intentionally, that hackers are intentionally doing this? I don't know their political mm -hmm. affiliation, but let's say, let's say something like anonymous, not necessarily anonymous, are actually atten intentionally attacking the site because they want this thing to mm -hmm. fail. Well, I, I don't know if that's some of the aspects of what's happening. Is it that it's, they're finding that it's getting cyber attacked or that it's getting hit from all sides or just that it's when possible. people test it, 
we're finding the holes in it. So uh, it's it's. Right. It's I, partly, I, this, I think it's both. It's partly it's not working. It's just mm -hmm. flat out not working, and they already they can't get the payments. If you pay, the money right. doesn't go to the insurance companies. Yeah, I, I, have, I have a picture of the guys in, in D.C. in general, and they're older guys who don't know what they're doing, right? But then there is the reality of their staff are younger people. Mm -hmm. So have they been sucked into the machine so much that they don't they forgot what normal life is like for a 26 right. to 32 year old? Maybe I don't know, but like. Again, you have to reach outside of it and get one of these guys in and be like, uh, I need you to find out what's going on with this before we find out what's going on with this. Mm -hmm. because, but the problem is it's hard to relinquish that control, I think, especially from the higher-ups to control people. Like, you know I'm an elected official. You know who I am. Yeah, yeah. but then once all of a sudden there's a problem, everybody backs oh, away, does asked. the yeah. back away boogaloo, and then President Obama gets up there and says, eh. So if they're trying to protect him, they're doing a hell of a bang up job because he gets up there, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about because nobody wants to tell the boss that whatever they did, right. they fucked up. Yeah. Mm. And on that note, would you guys just fix this freaking thing so that people that want it to work like the three of us would feel better about it and we wouldn't have to do segments like this. Okay.